Hello, I'm Jamila Masaiva, an international etiquette consultant, author of etiquette books and pre record online courses. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about eight ways to dress for success. So when we talk about making good first impressions, one of the bigger things that we're talking about is dressing dressing up a certain way, looking a certain way, because according to the Forbes magazine studies that have been done, it takes about seven seconds to make the first impression. And I would say it takes even less than seven seconds to make that first impression. And most of that impression is based on how you look, how you carry yourself, your overall, so to speak, outer cover. It's probably not good that we judge books by the covers, but we do. It's something that is subconsciously ingrained into our minds. It's something we do not really control because it's almost like an instinctual thing when we think this person is safe to be around and this person is not safe to be around. So it's an instinctual calling and it really makes a huge deal in the way that we treat the person or in the way that we establish a rapport with a person from the very first few seconds. Of course, we can work on a relationship, we can work on impressions. Sometimes the first impressions don't last at all. Sometimes the first impressions can be very misleading. You end up being completely disappointed because your expectations are higher than what the person is really representing. Of course, that can change over time, but let's work on one of the most important things in making the good impression is looking proper. And the first thing about looking proper or dressing for success is making sure that you are dressed in the clothes that fit you well. That is the most important rule when it comes to clothes. It doesn't matter what labels you're wearing. It doesn't matter what brands you're wearing. If the items are not fitting you, your body proportions or you know your, your body frame, then that clothes will not, is not made for you. I always say that the clothes should be fitting to your body. You shouldn't try to squeeze yourself into the clothes. The clothes should not be baggy on you. It has to be fitting and right to your proportions. You have to understand what is your body type? Are you a pear? Are you an apple? Are you an inverted triangle? What is your body type? And then you should dress according to that. The second important element when it comes to dressing well is making sure that your clothes is clean. What I mean by that, it's not just it's clean and fresh, straight from the store to you, but that it could be something that you've been wearing for seven, eight years, but make sure you maintain it really well. Keep it stain free, keep it wrinkle free at the time that you're wearing it. No blemishes, no, you know, like when the color gets weared off, no pills that are created when the fabric is in touch with something and then those little pills are created, especially under on underarms or on the places that, you know, the fabrics are being touched to each other often, which happens in between the thigh area when you're wearing your pants that you've been probably wearing for forever. Make sure that you pay close attention to your clothes, that it's clean, that is well maintained, even if it's something that has been lasting in your wardrobe for many, many years, as long as it's maintained well, it's good to go. The third important element when it comes to dressing to impress is making sure that your clothes is speaking to your personal style. Again, this can be different from, you know, depending on where you work. If you work in a company, in a corporate company where the structure is very formal, it's very hierarchical, there are rigid rules about the dress code, of course you have to abide by it because when you're working in a company, you're representing the company. But once you step out of of the company, when you're at the social gathering, you can then embrace your personal style. You can, you know, choose whatever is appropriate to you, to the kind of a person that you are. I think it's really dangerous when people are chasing trends and then they fall into the trap of being in a way fashionable and trendy where they haven't really discovered their personal style. You can live forever for, you know, years and years trying to be trendy, trying to be fashionable without really being stylish because it's really important to listen to your inner voice, to listen to your personal likings, to listen to what looks and uh, feels good on you so that you can start developing your personal style. Personal style is something that never goes out of style. You can always be recognized by it. Uh, when you look back at your pictures 10 years from now, of course, some things are no longer okay to mix and match. You might look a bit out of place, but not too much because you weren't really following the fashion. You were really following your personal style. It's good to incorporate certain elements from trendy items. You can accessories with something that is trendy, like a pair of shoes or a bag or a scarf or maybe some trendy blouse, whatever it might be. But one, might, one item I think is more than enough in the wardrobe to show that you know what is trendy now. Instead, I would try to accumulate a kind of a wardrobe that would be 
authentic to my personal style and that's important when you're trying to create a good impression. This brings me to the fourth point where I think, I think that is correlated to creating your own style is making sure that you choose your outfits or take the time to choose your looks the day before especially when it's something super important like if you have travel plans coming up when you have certain you know events coming up or meetings coming up and you really want to impress you know look your best and make the best impression make sure you take the time a night before a few days before planning out your outfit thinking of how you can combine things trying them out fitting things in you know when we look at this red carpet events where you know hollywood stars are dressed up it takes years probably months in making of their outfit of their hair makeup style you know accessorize they try they put things on they remove things they try things on and it takes a lot of preparation time until the moment that they actually step out on a red carpet so think of every single important event in your life as a red carpet you know it might not be oscars but it might be meeting an important client or it might be you know speaking in front of a huge auditorium or it might be you know making your first day in school or at work make sure that those, that those moments really do count so take your time to invest into searching what would look good on you you know planning ahead maybe in your mind maybe visualizing it and then actually trying it on to make sure that the clothes are fitting you they are clean and they are matching to your personal style speaking of creating your own style and you know and taking your time to to find out what would look good on you it's really important to invest into pieces that will last you for a longer time you know make your money count buy things that will stand the test of time that will be suitable to your personal style because personal style is lasting hence the items that you're buying are going to last you for quite some time given that you maintain them well see how everything is interlinked in all these points and it's really important that you find pieces that will serve you for different occasions for different seasons as well as for years so buying things that you will not be able to tell what time they were produced perhaps these are basic items in the given brand or these are basic you know cuts or colors that will you know work for any year or any season and will not really tell when they were made because i find nowadays that a lot of brands are producing things that are really trendy and they're changing it up much more much more fast than they used to before there were four seasons and now or like two seasons and now it's like pretty much every month you have something new coming in so in order to avoid falling into the trap of buying that much you have to understand what is your personal style and then invest into understanding what are the things that will last you years um, and will last you for many occasions you know there is this way to calculate if you buy a bag and how many times you're going to wear it if you divide by the time you're going to wear it you'll see if the value is actually worth it rather than if you you know invest into a staple back piece that you can't wear for a lot of occasions it will just stay in your wardrobe and not really be worth the money so be mindful when you are shopping the next important element of dressing to impress is knowing the dress codes it's so important to be dressed accordingly and appropriately to the event occasion time of the day culture that you are in as well as you know your personal style and season that you're in so anything that could be you know appropriate for a given culture might not be appropriate for another or a given outfit that would be considered okay for a cocktail will never be okay for a black tie you know wearing a cocktail dress to a business formal is not appropriate even if the dress is beautiful even if the suit is amazing if it's not according or appropriate to the occasion to the dress code then you will look out of place you will not look adequate and an impression that we are making of a person when we meet them is we think of their common sense we think of their rationality is this person proper do they understand where they are so you know you can throw off someone because you're not dressed adequately or according to a dress code i have seen this many many times in social gatherings in networking events at museum openings at gala exhibitions where people would come in super dressed up and not particularly to the dress code that was indicated in the invitation card or perhaps not keeping in mind the cultural mentality of people where they're in so that's why it's very important to take your time when you're getting dressed up or when you're creating your wardrobe 
to impress you have to take your time to do your research to really understand the dress codes if you don't understand the dress code you can always you know search it up if you don't know what a dress code is always ask the host or the inviting party if you can't ask as anyone just use your common sense to understand say you're invited to a party to a gala exhibition in dubai at 7 pm what could i potentially wear there obviously nothing transparent i try to make sure that my skirt is of a longer length that uh, my decollete area is covered that you know it's an evening uh, occasion so i can have an evening makeup so these are the things that i'll be able to make sense of once i know what the occasion is and try to understand what is suitable to my personal style as well as the occasion itself it is very important to know the dress codes and if you haven't been educated on dress codes you can also check out my etiquette book that is available for worldwide shipment on my website where i talk about different kinds of dress codes and what each of them entails so this brings me to the next important point uh, once we know the dress codes we have to understand this important rule about dressing up to impress and that is dressing one notch up there is this phrase that says dress for the job that you want not for the job that you have so basically meaning that if you are say a, an assistant manager but you want to be a, a boss one day dress like a boss you know put on a suit like a boss again we're not talking about labels we're not talking about the price of the suit we're talking about the way a boss would look groomed well taken care of well fitted suit something that looks fresh on you so that's the idea of what a ceo would look like and you should dress aim to dress like that if you're ever in doubt about something it's better to be overdressed than underdressed and that is because generally speaking it's so much easier to dress yourself down once you've dressed up you can remove certain accessorized that maybe embellish you you can you know dim down your makeup you could you know uh, fix your hair in a way that looks more informal or less dressed up rather than trying to elevate your look it's much more difficult to elevate the look rather than to kind of dim it down so always in doubt always come overdressed this is particularly important when you're dealing with clients say in asia or middle east or latin america people love to dress up in those parts of the world and so if you're dealing with clients there if it says you know just you know business uh, casual bear in mind that most people will be dressed business formal if they say cocktail most people might be even dressed like it's a black tie event so always understand the region that you're working with uh, your clients where they're coming from and in doubt always come overdressed than underdressed and the final point that's important to mention when we're talking about dressing to impress dressing for success is understanding that clothes will not be speaking on you you have to allow the clothes to speak for you so think of yourself not as a hanger for the clothes you're not just merely there to show the dress you are there to shine and the dress is helping you i think i've seen a lot of the instances where women would opt for really beautiful dresses and they were almost not noticeable because the dress would stand out so much and that's because it almost felt like they were carrying the dress rather than you know carrying themselves and allowing the dress to just aid in the process it's very important no matter if you're a woman or a man it's really important to make sure that it's not the labels that speak for you it's not the the beauty of the dress or a suit that's speaking for you it's that you are carrying those pieces that it's you who is allowing those pieces to shine and that's when body language is very important it's very important to feel confident and obviously that comes with dressing up well when you are dressed well when you feel good about yourself obviously your body language will translate that but bear in mind think of yourself not as a hanger but as a person who is carrying that dress or is carrying that suit it's really important to allow yourself to shine rather than the clothes so this was it for today's video about dressing up for success if you have any tips how to look your best to dress for success or to impress please let me know down in the comment section below as well i'm always open for your video suggestions i love taking notes on that and if you're still with me i want to tell you that i have two pre-recorded online courses one is called western formal dining etiquette from a to z where i teach you everything how to get out of the car get into the elevator get into the restaurant how to handle a formal dinner those are all available on my etiquette course there are also subtitles in arabic spanish and english and you can 
can always obviously watch it at your leisurely time anywhere from the world. There's also a course called The Art of Entertaining at Home, which is available as an ebook, also as a course with video tutorials about how to set up a table according to four different uh, seasons, as well as how to properly wrap gifts, how to take care of candles, and my personal candle collection. All of those, including my books, are available online on my website. Also, if you want to learn even more in depth about etiquette, you can join my Patreon Etiquette Movie Club where every month I publish movie etiquette analysis. And so far I've done 40 different movie analysis and by joining it now, you can view them all. And if you're still with me until this part of the video, I want to show you the outfit of today's video, which is this beautiful green dress that is made of silk, very comfortable, super flowy, and very snatching at the waist, which I love. It gives a beautiful silhouette. It's by a French brand called Marsh. And I have paired this uh, dress with uh, Aquazura open toe pumps that are embellished with uh, crystals, I believe and they are super stylish and I would say that they pretty much elevate any kind of dress or look that I'm wearing uh, because they feel like jewelry pieces on their own and uh, I rarely wear them because I wouldn't say they're super comfortable but if I know I'm going to be sitting and if I want to make a good impression I'll definitely opt for these beautiful Aquazura shoes. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. If you did like this video please give it a thumbs up because it helps me grow the channel. If you haven't been subscribed to my channel make sure that you do and you hit the bell button. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!